You gonna tell Booktube what we're doing today? We were filming a Friday Reads! And she's holding me because I was wanting to rub against the tablet and knock it over. Yeah, okay, I'll pitch you down. I get it. I get it. Um, so, this is Friday Reads. Uh, different angle, but this is what we're gonna try. Um, if you watched my unwrapping video, uh, you'll know that I got The Namesake by Jumbo Lahiri um, to read. And I am enjoying this one. Um, I blew through 150 pages, no problem. Um, and then got to this scene with this perfect family. Perfect, wealthy, rich New York family. And just, it seems too perfect for too long. And I can't wait for something bad to happen. So I kind of hit a snag there because... If nothing bad happens to them, I might just DNF this book, because I don't like perfect middle-class families. Um, so what is this about? This is about um, an Indian-American family. Uh, so this family moves from uh, Calcutta, and they move to America. Um, and it's firstly about his parents, and then it's about him. Um, and his name, because it's called The Namesake, is Gogol, after uh, the Russian author. Um... And it's a lot about his relationship with his name and how he thinks his name affects who he is. It's quite interesting. Um, and I also unwrapped the underground education. I decided not to read that because it read too much like newspaper article or not newspaper, um, online articles. Um, if you ever go on Cracked, it kind of felt like those kind of articles. And I just wasn't up for that. Uh, so I gave the book to my mom. It's no longer on my shelves. Um, and instead I unwrapped this one. <laughs> this is The Secret History by Donna Tart. Um, this is well known. I, again, went through 168 pages of this really fast. It's quite a large book. Um, it's kind of like a very immature, pretentious... If you were one of those kids in college, if you know what I mean, who are just like, education is the most important thing in the world, and I need to learn everything about everything, and I need to be kind of like this certain type of person, um... I don't know if that makes much sense. I was that kind of person in college, so I really am understanding this, and I really see it as immature. Um, but it's understandable because these kids are, these kids are in college, um, and like that. Um, no offense to anyone who is in college, but you, you know you kind of know that there's people like this, right? Um, yeah, um, and it's it's no spoiler. It tells you in the prologue that these group of kids kill one of their friends. Um, and then the story is about why that happens. Um, yeah, it's quite interesting so far. Um, I will be doing uh, all my further unwrappings on camera. I've been asked to do that. I was doing it on Instagram, um, but I got requested to do it on YouTube. So I think I'll do my best to do the rest of the unwrappings on YouTube. Um, I've also been reading some graphic novels. Um, I got a whole bunch, um, and I've been asking um, my Google Assistant on the phone, if you have Samsung or Android, you know I'm talking about the Google Assistant, to pick a letter between A and Z, and then looking at the titles there, <laughs> and choosing from the, the letter of the title there. So I ended up reading Veil vale first, because I got V. Um, I'm sorry I don't know the author or anything, because it's on my tablet. Uh, but that's a story of a young girl who is summoned by this magician and uh, she uh, wakes up in an abandoned subway and then walks onto the streets of uh, unnamed city number one um, and the people she encounters. It's uh, really good actually and I uh, will be looking for volume two because of you know the cliffhanger things at the end. Uh, then I read Scalped uh, which is really good. It gets a lot of the nuances of reservations um, really good, really well um as in it doesn't paint the noble savage this notion that we still have to this day that you know r reservations and uh, first nations have all the answers and everything like that that they're not corrupt and they don't have crime and none none of it's their fault um this readily says yeah listen there's like bad people everywhere um and it also deals with characterization really well i really appreciated that like it was revealing that a character was a cold-blooded murderer, but at the same time, something happened that made you feel really bad for him. Um, so you got these two conflicting emotions, like, this is a bad guy, but I feel bad for him at the same time. Um, 
Then I read the first issue of The Lollipop Kids. Um, and the premise of that is that when immigrants were coming over to America, they um, also brought their monsters with them. So fairy tale monsters and other things like that. We encounter the big bad wolf um, in this edition. Um, and it takes place in New York, generally in Central Park. I will continue with that because it's quite cool. It's fun about a bunch of kids who are chasing down the monsters to recapture them. And then I read the first issue of Border Town, which was kind of all over the place. It's uh, about a town in Arizona that's on the border with Mexico. And um, about a chupacabra, I believe, uh, that's coming up and just eating a bunch of people. Um, yeah, I really felt like maybe the story might go somewhere. I don't know. We'll see. And now I'm currently reading X-Men um, God Loves Man Kills, I believe it's called. And it's about a super religious organization that wants to hunt down and kill the mutants because they're abominations and they're not made in God's image, so they must be from the devil. Um, a really interesting premise. Again, I think it was the basis for the second X-Men movie. Um, so that's it. I don't have any books to unwrap because I've still got quite a way to go through here. And as I said, I've been on a graphic novel kick here as well. Um, so that's it. Let me know what you'll be reading. And thank you for watching.